It's a simple numbers game. Three contestants, one mechanical marble, and a potential £10,000 up for grabs. Can only be tipping point. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Alice, a cabin crew member from the Wirral. I'm Pip, a hot chocolatier from South Wales. And I'm Yvonne, a retired hotel receptionist from East Kilbride. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter, at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you will be going through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hands on your buzzers, it comes your first question. In December 2021, Carrie Johnson gave birth to her second child with which British politician? Yvonne. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson is absolutely right, Yvonne. Yes. Now then, you get the first correct answer. So you can choose. Do you want to play or pass, Yvonne? Well, I think I'll pass to Pip. Right, Pip. <laughs> Yvonne <laughs> doesn't want to take the first one on, so you get to do it. Where should we go with this first counter? Well, I think uh, Drop Zone 4 is looking healthy, so we'll go with uh, Drop Zone 4. Please, Ben. Let's do it. Drop Zone 4 for Pip, please. Whoa. Rapid drop. <laughs> Tears out of the machine. Straight Shettles. down there. Very nicely. And a couple Ooh. over the top. Well done. A little nudge there, going to go. Ooh, the double Ooh. came a long way. <laughs> Sorry, that was very oh, okay. close. I'll get very, the very one. close. <laughs> the double really got close, but sadly nothing for you there, Pip. Here's your next question. The sweet cake known in Germany as Apfelkuchen is traditionally made with a filling of which orchard fruit? Pip. Apple. Pen. Apple is correct. <laughs> yes, Pip. Do you want to play? I'm going to go with number four again, please. Let's do it. Drop some four for Try and get it done. Settles very nicely. Not the side the last one went, but can we get you something on the other side? Is the tipping point ready? Gonna, is it going to do something for me? Let's hope so. Oh. Yeah, it does. Oh, 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 oh goodness me. <laughs> well, there you go, Pip. Good work. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> Eight across the tipping point, Pip. £400, a lovely drop. And you've got your hands on the double as well, early doors. Let's give you another £400. That's a cracking drop now. Let's put it in your bank, put you on £800. You've got one counter still to play. Right then, girls, bit of catching up to do here. Here comes your next question. In 2021, Strictly Come Dancing judge Shirley Ballas switched on the famous illuminations in which seaside town? Alice. Blackpool. Blackpool's absolutely right, yeah. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to go with drop zone three, please. Let's do it. Drop zone three, please. Steady drop. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not sure about that? I hope it doesn't ride. <laughs> it's flat. You're OK. No riders no. yet. <laughs> now, can we get you some money? That's what we need here, Alice. Yes, please. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Those two could have gone. That would have been nice. Oh. There's a couple there now. <laughs> Keep an eye on the top shelf there, Alice, because that black and silver counter not very oh. close to going. <laughs> it's all still yours at the moment. Oh, oh, oh. Went oh. nearly oh. planted by oh. it. Oh. Two did drop, though, so let's give you £100 for those two. Thank you. Take it and put it in your bank. And you've got two counters still to go. Here's your next question. Appearing on the Thunderball soundtrack, Mr. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Pip. Tom Jones. Is a song about which fictional MI6 oh, secret no. agent? You've gone very early there. Oh, Pip. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gave me Tom Jones, who, of course, sang the theme tune to Thunderball. Yes. But the answer we were after was James Bond. 
And in fact, it was Shirley Bassey that sang Mr. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, not Tom Jones. There we go, Fab, thank you. I'm afraid we have to steal the counter from you. That's going into Sorry. the penalty spot, Pip. You'll be playing for that at the end of the round. That's all three of yours used now, Pip. So for the time being, you are out. Alice, you've got two counters left. Yvonne, you've still got all three of yours. Here comes your next question. Inhabiting a vast area of the Amazon, the Kayapo are a group of people who are indigenous to which continent? Alice. South America. Absolutely right, Alice. Yes, good answer. Right. <laughs> Do you want to play or would you like Yvonne to play? I feel like Drop Zone 3 is a good area, so I'll go with Drop Zone Let's 3. Let's do it please. again. Fire up 3, please. Sticky ghost drop for you. <laughs> is it going to be flat, Alice? Oh, please. Yes, it is. Oh. Now, good squeeze here. Maybe the black one in the middle would be nice if that comes over. Could be lucrative as well. Oh, oh Alice, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hard luck. Set them up delightfully. Mm. Stay there. OK, Alice, you've got one counter left. Here's your next question. The name of which device is an acronym of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation? Yvonne. Laser. Laser's right, Yvonne. Well done. You worked it out then. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can see Pip going through it as well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Yvonne, would you like to play? Yes, I'll play, please. Where should we go? I'll have a try and drop zone three, please. Right, that up three for Yvonne. Did I do that too late? That weird? didn't want to settle for you, Yvonne. Is it going to ride? It is! Oh, my God, oh, oh, oh. no! <laughs> you waited patiently to play the first one. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yes! Ooh. Got a little nibble. Oh, no, silver counters are keeping that black counter pinned. Oh, they're not going to go. I'm sorry, Yvonne. Nothing there for you, I'm afraid. Here comes your next question. Discovered in Thailand in 2020, the Tatanus bambus is a species of which large hairy spider? Alice. Tarantula? It is a tarantula, oh, yes. Well <laughs> Worth taking a risk on that one, Alice. Yeah. Would you like to play? I would like to play, please. Will it be drop zone three, maybe? It will be drop yeah. zone three. <laughs> Line it up, please. Right, come on. Top shelf is ram, bottom shelf is primed. What can we get? There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, this wow. feels like it could be big. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you in, but well it's a done. nice drop. Thank you. Six across the tipping point, £300. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. £400, that's all three of your counters used. So for the time being, you are out. Right then, Yvonne, it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put them into the machine, OK? Here's your first one. In which pantomime do the characters flesh creep Daisy the cow and a giant called Blunderbore traditionally appear. Jack in the Beanstalk. Yeah, that's the one. Well done. Right, where should we put this first counter? I don't know. <laughs> Still three, maybe, but the top's looking a bit lighter, isn't it? Top's a bit sketchy, bottom looks strong. I'll have a go. Three? Yeah. Drop down three, please. Get it on the left, it would be nice, I think. Oh, you want to. Yeah. <laughs> At least it is flat. <laughs> Good squeeze, it's flat. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still no joy, and that silver counter that looks like it's going to slide off is staying no, where it is for on. the time being. OK, one more to go, Yvonne. Here's your last question. In January 2022, Melbourne Park was the host venue of which Grand Slam tennis tournament? The Australian Open. Yes, Yvonne. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I feel like there's a story there. <laughs> I'm a tennis fan. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. So it was the right question for you, Yvonne. Let's see if we can get the right drop to match it. Right, I'll try three for one last time, please. Drop zone three, please. Again, it's that left-hand side, isn't it? Down the right. <laughs> now, maybe a little bit of lateral to take that slider down. Might be it, might do it. Oh, God, oh. There you go. Oh, look oh. at this. Is it going to work for you? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, well, not bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight counters for you, Yvonne. Nicely done. £400.
Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means as things stand, Pip is leading with £800. Alice and Yvonne both have £400 each. But it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the post, but I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. By then, Yvonne, Alice, if you get hold of this, you might be able to close that gap on Pip a little bit. So good luck to all of you. Here comes your punch spot question. How many hours are equivalent to 120 minutes? Yvonne. Two. Well done, you're absolutely right. You got the first. <laughs> Quickest off the mark, Oof. so you get the penalty spot counter. Now, what are you thinking? I think I'll stick with three, please, Ben. You're going to stay with drop zone three, please. Tipping point gonna go. Oh. <laughs> After all that, you just fill the gap, sadly, Yvonne. <laughs> so the scores there as they were. Pip is leading with eight hundred pounds. Alice and Yvonne both have four hundred pounds each. So join us after the break to which today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our ten thousand pound jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Alice, Pip and Yvonne are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Pip, you are leading after round one, so you can choose. You can play first if you'd like to. Alternatively, you could ask Alice or Yvonne to play. I still think there's a healthy amount of stuff that we haven't done on there, so I think I'll play this one, please. Okay, 45 seconds for you then, Pip. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. 45 seconds for Pip, please. Time starts now. People known as Scousers are native to which English city? Liverpool. Correct. Michelle Dubry was the first woman to win which business-themed reality TV series that stars Alan Sugar? Uh, the Apprentice. Correct. Which Tudor queen was on the English throne when the Spanish Armada was defeated in 1588? Mary Queen. Elizabeth I. Joanna Scanlon won the Leading Actress Award at the 2022 BAFTAs for her role in which film? Pass. After Love. In sailing terminology, clove hitch, figure eight, and bowline are all Not. types. Correct. The Tyranian Sea is an arm of which major body of water? Pass. Mediterranean. In 2021, which US gymnast won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Lifetime Achievement Award? Uh, Simone Biles. Correct. Kölsch is a style of beer that originated in which European city? Uh, pass. Cologne or Cologne. I was giving it the German version. Yeah, German cool. or French, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd appreciate that, Pip. Uh, four correct answers in there. Not too bad. Four counters put into the machine. You answered very quickly on your sailing question. Sailing terminology. Clove hitch, figure eight and bowline are all types of what fastening. And you were absolutely spot on when you said they were knots. Uh, so, we've got four counters okay. to try and extend your lead. Pip, where do you want to start? Number one, please. It looks very good. There's a mystery and a double. Let's do it. Drop zone one for Pip, please. and settles nicely. Could get towards the mystery, the top shelf's feeling it. Yeah, it is. Oh, Ooh. goodness Yeah, me. nice, good double shelf. Straight oh, in the mystery, oh, nicely done. Nice. <laughs> and there's still some on the top as well. Let's see. Might get a little more, might just shuffle the shelf and fill the hole. Or not greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Five counters there, Pip. Tidy start, 250 pounds. And that mystery prize fell in as well. Won yourself a supercar experience, courtesy of Into the Blue. Wow. Lovely stuff. I uh, still got three counters to go in as well. Pip, staying with drop zone one or changing it up? I'm actually going to try uh, drop zone two, I think, as uh, a good bulk at the front. We haven't touched it yet. Let's do it. Drop zone two, please. Rally drop. Nice second. The top shelf going to join in. Yes. Oh, nice. They separate two. A couple that look ready. Ooh. Need a little Ooh. bit more encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> two more to go, Pip. I think that's just setting me up. I'm going to go with number two, two again, please, Drop Ben. Zone two, please. Down it comes. Settles on the right this time. Just, uh, should get that off, I hope. Oh, just Ooh. have a little gap. Set it up even more. 
and nothing coming mm. over the top. One more to go, Pip. Yes, it's going to be number two again. One, One last, last hit. Drop zone two, please. It certainly looks primed and ready, doesn't Maybe it? I'm too committed to let it go. A lot of bounce oh. there. <laughs> what a... Hope it doesn't ride. Big ricochet drop. Should be a flat. It is, yes. Oh, just. Now, can we get something on the top? Over and down. Yes, just. There we go. Oh. Not too bad in the end. <laughs> Leave a few there, but it took another cluster. Four more for you there, Pips. £200 to add. It takes you to £450. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you £1,250. Nicely done. Right then, Yvonne and Alice, you both have £400. But, Yvonne, by virtue of the fact that you answered a question correctly before Alice in the last round, you can choose. Would you like to play next or would you like Alice to play? Well, I think there's still a few more there that Pip's left behind, so I'm going to have a go. Let's do it then. <laughs> 45 seconds for Yvonne, please. Time starts now. King oyster, king trumpet and French horn are all names for a specific type of which edible fungus? Mushroom. Correct. In a classic Brothers Grimm fairy tale, who is the brother of Gretel? Hansel. Correct. Which British Prime Minister resigned in 1955 and was replaced by Anthony Eden? Pass. Ch Churchill. Reaching the UK top 40 in 2020, what is the title of US singer and rapper Doja Cat's second album? Oh, pass. Hot pink. What is the full name of the item of clothing that is referred to colloquially as dungas? Dungarees. Correct. In 2017, the thimble, boot and wheelbarrow tokens were removed from the stand... Monopoly. Correct. Amy Fuller represented Team GB at the 2014 and 2018 Winter Olympics in which sport? Skiing. Snowboarding. In June 2021, Miranda Cosgrove reprised her role as... Out of time. Not sure if you'd have got this. Reprised her role as the title character in the reboot of which teen sitcom? iCarly. Uh, four correct answers for you, Yvonne. Just like Pip, four counts put into the machine. Now, you got your Monopoly question very quickly. 2017, thimble, boot and wheelbarrow tokens were removed from a standard version of which board game? And no problems there at all with Monopoly. You've got four counts to put into the machine here, Yvonne, to try and close the gap on Pip and put a bit of pressure on Alice. So what are you thinking looking at the machine? Can I try drop zone two, please, You then? can. Fire up two. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Certainly in a rush to get down. It's oh, going to have an impact well. as well here, Yvonne. Wants to give you some counters. It certainly does. Wow! wow. wow. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Yvonne, cracking start. 12 counts oh, at £600. Amazing. Pounds. Straight off the bat, really <laughs> lovely start. Three more to go in as well. Because there's a few just teetering on the edge there mm. in between two and three. I think I'll stay with two. Let's do it. Part two, please. Definitely a few danglers there, aren't there? Yeah. Rattles down and settles well. Just need five counters now to catch the hit. Mmm. That's a little tease up. Pinned, but ready to go. Two more to go, Yvonne. Right, drops on two again, please. Ben. Fire two up. Another good drop, another nice settle. Is that still one going to go? Is it just going to stay? Ah, oh, another oh, teaser. They're still standing there. Oh. They're waiting for you, Alice. They are, right? <laughs> <there. laughs> We've got one more to go in here, Yvonne. Drops on two, please, Ben. Firing up two. Can you get something here? That feels like it should deliver. That'll be a good one. <laughs> the mystery's going to come. Yeah, there Ooh. we go. Are we going to catch Pip? I think you might have. I think you've left a few there. <laughs> Yvonne, it's another six across the tipping point. Well Ooh. done. Another £300, 900 in total. When we take that from the machine and put it into your bank, you have snuck into the lead. You now have £1,300. Very well oh, played. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, Alice, we come to you. Yeah. <laughs> 45 seconds for Alice, please. Your time starts now. In 2021, which fast food chain reintroduced the double Big Mac to its McDonald's. menu? Correct. In January 1983, which car safety feature became compulsory for drivers to wear in the UK? Seatbelt. Correct. Jane Lynch plays cheerleading coach Sue Sylvester in which US TV series? Um, Pass. Glee. 
Which country won the first football Africa Cup of Nations held in 1957? Uh, Ghana. Egypt. Poker dollars are the main form of currency used in which popular Japanese video game franchise? Pass. Pokemon. The full name of the film and TV website. Website IDB is the internet movie what? Take face. Correct. According to a prophecy, which character from Greek mythology would kill his father and marry his mother? Pass. Oedipus. Premiering in 2019, The Life I Lead play about the life of which Mary Poppins actor? Dick Van Dyke. No, David Tomlinson. Three correct answers, Alice. Okay. Three counts <laughs> to put into the machine. You got your McDonald's question very quickly, though. I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nicely done. We need to dig out enough drops here to try and catch Pip if possible. Yeah. What are you thinking, Alice? So I'm thinking with the double, I think I'm going to go for a drop zone one. Yeah, please. good shout. Five drop zone one, please. Get them in the right place. Double could get there with three. Just need it on the right hand yeah, side. Yeah, we do. <laughs> no. No. The machine didn't want to listen. <laughs> oh, is it going to be flat? Moment, is it going to be flat? It is, yes, it is flat. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, get something. It's going to squeeze. Yeah. Oh, that might okay. move and work nicely. Bit of a gap there. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> a great start, Alice. <laughs> Alice, 12 counters. Goodness me, that's a big drop right there. <laughs> 600 pounds. So you've closed the gap. You need five more to catch Pip. Okay. Two more to put in. There are some just over the edge on drop zone two, so I'm going to give that one a go, please. Let's try it. Drop zone two, please. They're gathering between two and three, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Not on the right, but Not can we get way. something over the top shelf? Ooh, oh, two's doing the teasy thing again. Oh. Alice, it comes down to this one last drop. <laughs> oh, no pressure. What do you um, think? I think I'll give drop zone two another try, please. Let's give it one last crack. Good luck. Far up drop zone two. <laughs> really bouncy drop. Is it going to go flat? It is flat. <laughs> it is. It is flat. Okay. Oh, is that flat counter going to come over? We still need five. Just wait a minute. Good catch, Pip. He's not sure. Okay. Is it going to go? It's a good squeeze. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's oh. two that dropped in. There's one dangling on the edge. Just see if it fancies joining them. Oh, it's going to stay there, Alice. <laughs> oh. You've given it a really good shot. Oh. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough. Let's add in okay. £100 for those two. <laughs> Takes you up to £700. You take the £700 from the machine and put it in. That means at the end of the round, Yvonne is leading with £1,300 just ahead of Pip, who has £1,250. And just behind him, sadly, Alice, that means with £1,100, we have found it to the point. Thank you for playing. Thank you very much. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you. So it's Pip and Yvonne who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £30,000, go to the website. Entries cost £2. Tech win to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09068785. £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP232, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where just two players remain, Pip and Yvonne. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. There is just £50 in this, but one of you will be playing for our jackpot, and we'll find out who it is at the end of round three. Now, in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round, round will be our winner. We'll be playing for the jackpot. As you have snuck into the lead, Yvonne, you get to choose. Would you like the first question? Or would you like to offer it to Pip? I think I'm just going to get it over with, Ben. Take the first one? <laughs> yeah. Here we go, then. Here's your first one. In 2021, which entertainer and businesswoman was declared a national hero of Barbados by Prime Minister Mia Motley? 
I'm going to cut this poker face here and see, because I don't have a clue. So I'm going to have to pass it to Pip. Right, Pip. I think my poker face is working because my girlfriend's a massive fan. It was Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna, <laughs> you're going with Rihanna. Yvonne, would you have got Rihanna no, at all? I wouldn't have. Let's see if you're right. It's a great steal if you are. Is the answer Rihanna? Yes, indeed. She's oh. from Barbados, of course. Good poker face. <laughs> I well, remember good. that. <laughs> Pip, you got the counter. Where should we go? Right between two and three, there. There's a lot ready to go. I might go for number two, please. Let's do it. Bar up two, please. It's certainly been hard to decipher drop zone two, but the money's there, isn't it? That okay, that's about it. where I wanted it, I think. A black counter should come through. Yeah. There we go, and hope for the push. And oh, oh, re-drop in. <laughs> well, up here, £150. <laughs> Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank, and it will put you in the lead. £1,400. You've got a mystery prize as well, which is an Ultra 8000 S2 juicing machine, courtesy of JR Ultra Juicers. Wow. Lovely stuff. You keep control. Time for your first question. First appearing in the 1938 animated short Porky's Hare Hunt, Happy Rabbit was an early version of which more famous character? You can pass if you're not sure. If we're looking at Porky, then we're probably going with Porky Pig, um, which puts us in Warner Brothers, which should mean Bugs Bunny. Should we go Bugs Bunny? I think so, yes, please. Yvonne, what would you have said? I would have said Bugs Bunny. You would have gone Bugs Bunny yeah. too. Let's see if Pip's right. Is the answer Bugs Bunny? Yeah, absolutely. Well Good answer done. to that, Pip. Well done, you. <laughs> Another counter, then. I think I've had all I'm going to get out of number two for the moment, okay. so I will switch over to number three, please. Beth. Let's have drop zone three for Pip, please. Maybe goes down the left-hand side, you can get it. This is what I'm hoping. There's, uh, you can just see them waiting. For Yvonne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. It's that the side, isn't it? Right Are they going to access it? But will they drop? Oh, they no. won't. They will just cling. Well, tease. Holding on. So nothing there, Pip. Okay. Right then, Yvonne, back to you. Time for your second question. Which county cricket club play the majority of their home matches at Lords? I know very little about cricket, and he probably knows tons about cricket. Uh, I'm going to have to pass to Pip. Sorry. I uh, no. I'm. I'm not sure. Uh, I was offered free tickets the other day and I didn't take I don't like... It's not your thing. No, it's not, not your at all. sport. Lords, I think, is in London. Um, and the only county that I really hear talked about in cricket is Essex. So I have to answer the question. So I'm going to go with Essex. Going to go hope. with Essex? Yeah. OK. Yvonne, did you know where Lords was? The only one I could think of was Surrey, but I wasn't Surrey. sure. Surrey? OK. Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Pip. Is the answer Essex? No, it's not. No. And it's not Surrey. They play at the Oval, which right. is in London. It's Middlesex. Oh, St so John's Wood is where the crowd is. I have got that either. Good pass in the end. So, Yvonne, you get the counter. Where do you want to go? There's definitely a few that still lie in there and drop some three bends, so can I please have that? You can. Fire up three. over to the right. It's not that side, is it? Wrong side. Oh, let's hope it doesn't turn. A little bit of a squeeze. Oh. Now, can we get something into four, which could be interesting? There's two counters. The equaliser. £100 for those two, Yvonne. Nicely done. There, if you can get your hands on them, let's put it into your bank. And it closes the gap. Equaliser, as you rightly pointed out. £1,400 each. Pip, we come to you. Time for your second question. 2020, Diversity Stars, Jordan Banjo and Perry Kylie began presenting The Breakfast Show on which radio station? I haven't really got a clue. I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I know what I listen to and it's not wherever they present. Um, I'm hoping that it's, uh, it's vague enough that, um, that Yvonne isn't going to know either, so I'm going to pass this one over. Right, Yvonne. Have you heard of Jordan Banjo or Perry Kylie? I know who Jordan Banjo is. OK. My son-in-law works for a radio station in London <laughs> and I'm <laughs> going to be absolutely mortified. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to say his. He works in Capital Radio. I think I'm just going to have to say that. You're going to go with Capital Radio? Yeah, because okay. I don't know. Let's see if you found the right station. <laughs> Is the answer Capital? It's not, no, it's oh. Kiss. Kiss. Capital is Roman Kemp. 
Martin yeah. Kemp from Spandau Ballet, yeah. son. Yeah. Good pass in the end. So, Pip, where do you want to go? Again, I think we're looking at three. I don't want to be a one-trick pony, but that's got to be ready to put something out. Let's do it. It's a good trick if you get it right. Far up three. That right hand Not exactly side where again. I wanted no. it, but... it worked for Yvonne, though, didn't it? If that silver one comes down. All like that. A little squeeze, a bit of lateral into four. Might get me. Ooh. Oh! Just, oh, mate, just to the get them a little more center. ready again. Just filling the gaps. Ooh. Right, Yvonne, back so to you. Close. Still nothing between the two of you. Time for your third and final question. Just out of play. They fell in the end, but they're just riding. <laughs> oh, is that going to. Let's just keep an eye on it. Oh, look at that. I'm so sorry. Those counters are going to have to be voided from the machine. Right then, Yvonne, where were we? Here comes your third and final question. Sponsored by Swansea University, the International Literature Prize for Young Authors is named after which Welsh poet? You can pass if you're not sure. Now, my problem here is this young man is Welsh. So I'm going to just have to take a guess. Sure. Because the only Welsh poet coming into my head is Dylan Thomas. OK. So I'm going to guess at that. Dylan Thomas. Because he'll know it. <laughs> what would you have said? That sounds a very fair answer. I may have gone for Taliesin, who's a much more historical poet, but uh, I, I, I actually don't know the answer to that one, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. So let's see, Yvonne. Is the answer Dylan Thomas? Yes. <laughs> Well done. Great answer. Only Swansea one University <laughs> International Dylan Thomas Prize. Uh, you get a counter for knowing that. Uh, right. So let's see if we can get some money. Just one will put you in the lead. I'm just going to try drops on four, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up four. Oh, no. Mm, didn't want that. Put it right. That Sorry, settles. And he's down and it's wow. flat. Down. Need a good shot. That silver That's counter. That's great to put that first one out, yeah. Oh, there's a couple there for you, Yvonne. Is anything going to go here? Yes. Oh. Two oh. counters. <laughs> right. It is so tight. That could be crucial. That is £100. So pounds. Tight. Well done. Let's take that from the machine and put it in your bank, and it puts you in the lead on £1,500. Right, Pip, back to you. Time for your third and final question. Launched in June 2021, the Dream Home Decorator. Is an expansion pack created for the fourth edition of which popular video game series? I'm fairly confident I know this one. Great. Uh, I'm also fairly confident that Yvonne probably wouldn't, but, but you don't know what people it's get up to when they're retired. So And grandchildren, <laughs> of course. So I think it's The Sims, then. The Sims? Uh, Yvonne, did you have any ideas? No. None whatsoever? <laughs> so I hope right. I'm right. <laughs> Let's see if you are. You didn't need to answer, but you've gone for it, Pip. Let's see if you are right. Is the answer The Sims? Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, well, well done, done. Pip. <sighs> so, you need two counters to catch Yvonne. Anything less than two, and Yvonne is our champion and you're going home. I'm going to go for number four, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up, drop zone four, please. So we get one last lucky drop here, Pip. Good luck. Ooh, there you go, on the right. I'm not sure that's where I wanted Settled. it. The mystery going to come over. It is. Okay. Separated is the tipping point so... ready. Oh, it's just one <laughs> bit. It's the narrowest of margins. He did a really good job. It's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. £50 crosses the tipping point. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank and we can see just how close it is. Just one counter and £50 between the two of you. But Yvonne, with £1,500. I thought it was a draw. No, you're Very the nicely well done. done. Oh, you are today's you. champion. You've played a great game oh, wow. and you have really battled hard. So well done, you. Pippa, I'm so sorry. You've come really close, but I'm afraid with £1,450, we have found your tipping point. Of course, you have won your supercar experience and a juicing machine as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for playing. Thank you, Ben. Thank it's you. It's lovely to meet you. Cheers. So, Yvonne, as our champion, goodness me, well done, Hello. you. Amazing stuff. So, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. This one's bigger and better than all the others. Could you get this one out, Yvonne? You're going to go home with £10,000. Yeah. Can Yvonne master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now that it's your chance with an amazing cash prize for £30,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. Text WIN to 65433. Text cost £2 plus one standard network rate message. 
call 09068 785 433. Calls cost £2 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP232, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Yvonne is our winner today. Has £1,500. That doesn't tell half the story, though, Yvonne. You have battled so hard that it was only £50 in it. So close. I didn't think you thought you'd won, did you? I thought it was a draw. I thought <laughs> we were just, and we would have to go in the buzzer Sudden for death. another. Oh. No. Fortunately, that one counter was all you needed. And now it's you, our machine, and a chance to win our jackpot, Yvonne. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money if we get it out? My siblings and I are big, big tennis fans. Right. And every year we've gone to the O2 for the year-end tour finals. Lovely, yeah. And we've moved it to Turin in Italy. And it's so expensive. And I think that's what we would do. Amazing. I think we'd go. Well, look, fingers crossed. It'd be a great way of celebrating what's been a great day so far. Just one last challenge, and that's to get the jackpot counter. Good luck. Time to find out whether Yvonne's going to win our jackpot. Yvonne, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. You want to go home with £10,000? Just get it out again. You want to go home with £20,000? So you can get it to drop with the double that's still there on the top shelf of drop some one. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. So, which drop zone would you like to put our precious jackpot counter into, Yvonne? The double is sitting there. And I've not been in drop zone one yet, so let's have a try for drop let's zone give it one, a please. OK, yeah. let's do it. Five drop zone one, please. Are you ready for this, Yvonne? Mm -hmm. Oh, my Rattles goodness. Rattles down. <laughs> Comes out there at a pace, doesn't it? Let's see what happens here. And then coming down here. Just going to sit and wait. It's all yours now. It doesn't matter when they go. We'll put it all into your bank and you'll collect it as and when. But you've got the jackpot counter down and nice and flat towards the left of centre, and that double is sitting there pretty on the right-hand side. Right, let's have a look at your categories. This is what we have for you. Music, sport, history, fashion, science and film. You can play them in any order you like, so where should we start for how many? I'm just going to start at the top and let's work do it. my way down. OK, then. so start with music and how many? Now, if it was 70s music, I would be all right. OK. But it's probably not, so I'm going to go for two, please. Right, then, we're going to start music for two, please. Which of the following is the title of a 1988 UK number two hit for Salt and Pepper? Lift it, pull it, push it. Do you remember Salt and Pepper? I know the name, but I haven't got a clue what they sing. So lift it, it's going pull to it, to be push it. Completely guess. Whoa. I'm going to see if you push it. Push it. Because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Should we light it up? Yeah. We're going to go with push it, please. Big hit for Salt and Pepper. This. Is the answer push it? Yeah, push it real what good. It? Their album, Assault <laughs> with a Deadly Pepper. I remember it vividly. <laughs> Great stuff. You got two counters. That's what we need. Good start, Yvonne. Drop zone one. Yes, please. Fire up one, please. Ooh, Ooh. Nearly just sneaks past it here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it does shake the shelf and just a little nudge and graze. But we'll take those four. £200. £1,700. And one more to go in then, Yvonne. Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Light it up, please. <laughs> go on, roll a bit, roll a bit. Oh, we just needed another little ah. hop to the right. Is going to ride? No, it's OK. OK. You might slide a little right here. So it just... Touch, yeah, well, look, we'll take a little touch. There we go. And we'll take some of the wet out in front, which is good. And we'll take those two there. So £100 for those two, up to £1,800. Jab counters had a little nudge as well. You've cleared the path. I like it. Let's go back to the categories then. So, heading down the list, sport is next. Right, I'm going to have a go at three for sport, please. I know about some sports, Good. and I know very little about others, so the answer will be there somewhere. Let's find it. it. Sport for three. Just add a little extra drop there for you. 
Let's add that in. 50 pounds across the tipping point. Takes you up to 1,850 pounds. Let's go back to the question. Selected for the England Euro 2020 squad, Jaden Sancho and Jude Bellingham were both players at which German football club? Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, or VfB Stuttgart? I Ring don't any bells? Know no. Much about England football or German football. When the question came up, Bayern Munich came into my head, but I think that's just because they're the most famous mm -hmm. one. I'm just going to guess at Bayern Munich. Bayern, they're the one that you know most of. Okay, yeah. we're going to go with Bayern, please. Let's see if you're right. Jaden Sancho and Jude Bellingham, when they were selected for England's Euro 2020 squad, were they at Bayern Munich? Oh, Borussia Dortmund. Oh, what's that? The other really big club at the moment in yeah. Germany. Okay, not to worry. That would have been a bonus. Let's go back to the categories. Next on the list is history. I think we'll go for two in history. <laughs> right, come on. Two for history. Which of the following presidents of the USA was born first? Theodore Roosevelt, George Washington, or Abraham Lincoln? Right, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Theodore Roosevelt. Between the other two, I'm thinking George Washington. Should we go Washington? Yeah. OK, we're going to line up Washington. So definitely not Roosevelt. And then between Lincoln and Washington, we've gone Washington. We need this. Is the answer George Washington? Yes, 1732, <laughs> Lincoln was 1809. You're absolutely right. Well done. Two counts. Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. Yes. Up, please. Let's have another go. Let's get one right behind it, Vaughn. Oh, right in the middle. Bit too far. <laughs> I might sneak that way. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. There we go. Yes. Oh, pushed one on. Nice. Sorry, Look, there we go. Lovely. One more in. Drop zone one. Yep, please. Power it up, please. Oh, okay. the other side. Well, we want to move the double down as well, don't we? We want to get that close, so if we get a little movement on that, that's no bad thing. OK, so hmm. we've got the double under the bottom shelf, the jackpot counted right on the edge of the top. Back to the categories. Fashion next on the list. Well, you can tell I'm not a fashionable person. Never. So the don't answer believe that. is going to be there, so I might as well go for three, because it's going to be a guess. One or three is going to be a guess. It's going to be a guess. Let's do it. Fashion yeah. for three. In 2022, Kim Kardashian became an official face of the spring-summer campaign for which luxury fashion brand? Valentino, Balenciaga or Prada? I've heard of Valentino and Prada. I haven't heard of the middle one. Balenciaga. No. I'm just going to take a guess at Prada. Prada? I'm going to go with Prada, please. Let's see if you're right. If you are, it's three counters. Is the answer Prada? Balenciaga. Oh, the one I didn't know. <laughs> no, features Justin Bieber as well, apparently, the campaign. Not to oh, worry, no, no. let's go back to the categories. Right, science and film. Right, science, again, I don't think I'm going to know either way. OK. Even though my brother has a PhD in chemistry, and I don't know, so I'm going to say three. Let's science for three, for three, please. During the process of fermentation, yeast turns sugar into carbon dioxide and which of these? Ethanol, methanol or propanol? I have heard of them, but I have no idea... Which it would be. Which it would be. Can we work it out? No, there's nothing I can even work it out on because I haven't got a clue. No. So it's a complete hard guess. Methanol. Should we go methanol? Yes, yes, please. Let's go methanol, please. During the process of fermentation, yeast turns sugar into carbon dioxide. And is it methanol? Ethanol. Uh, ethanol. Methanol's Ooh. a toxic alcohol that's used in uh, plastics and paints. Oh, Yvonne! Oh, rubbish. It's not quite going our way, but we've no. got one last category. Okay. Four counts is the record. Film, come on now. Let's go for three yeah, because, yeah. You've just got to find the right answer. Yes. Film for three. Which British filmmaker directed the 2016 film I, Daniel Blake? Danny Boyle, Steve McQueen or Ken Loach? Have you seen it? No. <laughs> Have you heard of it? No. Oh, OK, so you don't know anything about it. I thought Steve McQueen was an actor, but there must be someone else <laughs> with that name. <laughs> the old people like me remember him. Have you heard of Danny Boyle or Ken Loach? I've heard of both of them. Right, OK. Well, I'll tell you what, because I don't know Steve McQueen, I'm just going to pick him. We're going to go Steve McQueen? Yeah. 
that up, Steve McQueen, please. I, Daniel Blake, from 2016, brilliant British film. Was it directed by Steve McQueen? Oh, ah, Ken Loach. Ken Loach. Very gritty sort of film about a middle-aged man who's denied benefits. It's an incredible film. Aww. So Steve McQueen directed 12 Years a Slave, which, of course, won an Oscar. I've seen that one. Oh, and Vaughn, it's not gone to plan. No, it hasn't. You battled incredibly hard to get here. Sadly, we haven't really got going in the final round. Usually, at this stage, as I'm sure you know, I would offer you three more counters for what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jack pocket counter out. Given that it's still stuck on the top shelf, yeah. I'm pretty sure I know what you're going to say. But I need to ask, nonetheless, would you like to take the money or the trade? Definitely take the money, and I'm very happy with it. Thank well, you I'm very much. Well, I'm thrilled that you are. £1,800 is a lovely amount of money. And maybe we'll go some way to getting you to it Turin. Will. Yeah, it definitely Amazing. will. So you can enjoy you the tennis. Thank you so much. I'm, I didn't expect to win, so I'm really happy to be here. Well, we were chuffed to bits that you came and took on the machine. You've done a cracking job. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Ben. So there you go.